A recent National Public Radio piece on Obamacare substituted the words public plan with public airplane to illustrate the wonders of government-controlled health care. This no-frills government air wouldn't offer meals, movies, or pillows, but NPR claims they would get all of their passengers to Healthyville, just like the private airplane. Really? Here's a public airplane. It's subsidized by taxpayers and not subject to the same rules as a private airplane. The private plane has to pay its own way by attracting customers and providing good service. So which plane will fill up first? Duh. Since government air must take everyone at the lower cost, they'll quickly start to run out of money, and they'll have to cut their costs. Pilots, let's start by slashing your pay. Sorry, old-timer, you've already been to Healthyville. Critically sick person? Eh, you probably wouldn't have survived the trip anyway. Want to switch back to the private airline? Sorry, your employer chose the government air public option, and the private airlines are no longer allowed to issue individual tickets. Looks like the public option is now your only option. We hope you enjoyed your flight on government air. But if you believe in responsible health care reform, join us.